All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Ancestors. So we've got a little bit of bad news, and it's basically the fact that I've just made an entire episode and we've lost it because it was completely corrupt. The audio and the visual is just completely broken. There's no way I can save it, but I'm going to try and recap what happened. So here goes. First off, in the previous episode that you guys would have seen, we did a generational jump. I know I was saying it was an evolutionary jump. I was getting mixed up with that. It was like my brain was working overtime. And I did mean generational, but I kept saying evolution. I guess it kind of is when you skip a generation, you're kind of slowly evolving. But you guys know what I meant. I meant to skip the generation, which is what we did. In that generational skip, we developed spontaneous genetic mutations with a lot of the kids that have now become adults. I'm not sure if what actually has one. Yeah, there we go. If you look on the left-hand side now, it says intelligence. That's one of the spontaneous genetic mutations that we got from him being a kid and going out exploring, picking up on all the uh, cool things that we were doing with the first generation. So basically with that, I think that's what we need to do more and more to evolve, which we might be doing in this episode, guys. I really want to do it. I just want to make sure I've got a lot of the, uh, the locked in mutations that I want before we go ahead and do it. So after that... I stumbled across an area which is just over there where those trees are just up ahead. There was an area that I discovered and there was a hole in the ground. And because a lot of you guys have said, no, no, Fusta, no, there's definitely spiders in this game. I was horrified and I really, really mean that. I went down in there. There were spiders. There was a lot of them. They were pretty big, but not what I was expecting. What was, though, was a giant centipede. Yes. <laughs> they were massive so i'm hoping that we can go down again because there's another cave or hole in like that direction over there which i'm going to try and find again it might be a little bit of distance away but i'm going to go try back over there so you guys can see what we go up to also i did see the comments a lot of you guys were saying combine the ba basalt rocks or basalt rocks together and it makes a chopper so i did that and i killed a rock python and i was able to chop it up for meat so we can actually do that now and basically, you guys said from what I was asking in the previous episode, you need to keep, kind of keep eating the same foods that make you sick and then slowly kind of drink water over time just to get your ape used to it. So it's kind of what I expected. It's just going to take time. It's a process. Now, I've made my way over here because we found a new animal. And I'm not seeing it. They were. Oh, wait, I do see it. Just turn this back on. Oh, the dopamine hit is actually... Look at them peeking. Look at them. So it's like a kind of zebra or something. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, please tell me that we can ride these things. Look at them. They're all in a group. Look at an ape jewel wielding some sticks. I'd be shocked too. Wait, let's see if we can intimidate them. Okay, so that works. New wildlife. Myocene. I, it is an African horse. Okay. They're so cool looking as well. And this area here is called like the siblings waterfall. It's a beautiful area, and I think this is my new favorite spot. So I think for the most part, guys, that's you all caught up. Obviously, we did a little bit of extra stuff in the episode as well, but I'm going to try and, I guess, do better than that episode in this one to not disappoint you guys, because I'm a little bit heartbroken. It was a cool episode, but whatever. It's not going to see the light of day. Oh, actually, back over there. Yeah, I need to show you guys, because there's two new things that we discovered. One of them was under the liftable rocks. So, you know, way back when we were lifting the rocks up and we discovered, like, the mushrooms and stuff, and you can actually find the basalt rocks under those liftable rocks, too. I found a precious stone, and it's a really, really cool one. I also found a precious stone on that rock that's just kind of up there to the left. So we we basically discovered two new rocks in that previous episode. So drop that, and then drop this one. So this is the first one. Let me see if I can inspect it again so it says what it is. I think it does. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it's called Sphalerite. That was the first one that we found, and then this one. So, can we do the same thing? This one's, my, like, more of my favorite, because it looks like crystal. This one is called Tourmaline. And I don't know if you guys caught that there, but over the top of it, look at that. It gives, like, extra little bits that you can use these for, and I wasn't aware of that. I knew that you could hold a stone when you were scared, and I think it helps keep your focus and doesn't lower your dopamine. So if we're holding this in an area that we haven't discovered yet, it kind of glows. And I think that's keeping my ape's attention. So it's kind of cool to have these around, but we're going to leave them here for now because I am going to be coming back to this area. So let me dual wield these again. 
And then what we're going to do is head back over to the cave. So in a nutshell, guys, <laughs> that's pretty much what I've done. Aside from the fact that we basically discovered that you can pile branches together and make like a, uh, a stick fence around where you're living, which is really good for back where the settlement is, which is still in the same place because there's so many cats over there. <laughs> As much as I thought it was a safe area, there really is so many cats and so many rock pythons as well. So I threw up some of the fences just to try and keep people safe, but I don't really think it's helping too much. Also, in the previous episode, when we did skip a generation, we noticed that one of our apes died. I did see the comments and I did notice in the bottom right corner, once we made that journey over, it looked like one of them was injured. It turns out that was the case and I believe it was App. I want to say it was App. And I think she did die. And the bones that she left behind, you can actually scan them and it shows you the length of time that they've been there, which is a really cool touch. So say, for example, the bones are here. We could scan them and it would say the, the ape's name and how long they've been there for and, and like have a little call back to who it was and like maybe the adventures that you went on with that specific ape and stuff. I don't know. I just think it's a really nice touch. So where we got to go here? I don't think there's any like bad stuff around here. Yeah, it's just a really, really nice area. I mean, look at that. But yeah, if we go in this direction, I'm going to see if I can find that other hole in the ground. And we're going to go and explore it before we continue today. Because my plan was to basically go in that direction and see if we can discover more things. But that heat is on another level. And I don't really want to, like, get too deep into the... Yeah, oh, there we go. we got a cat up ahead. I don't want to get too deep into that area and get into trouble. So, yeah, I think we're going to go back. We're going to evolve as much as we can. Or, I guess, use as much of our brain juice as we can. And then I think we are going to evolve. I'm going to see what happens with it. Hey, big guy. Come on. All right. Two of them. Oh, yeah. It's so cool, that. It looks like he's, he's going to use two to lunge, but he doesn't actually put two into the animal, you know? It's only one of them. You can even see that on the side of him. All right, we've arrived. This is what I found. We are a little bit hungry and possibly thirsty as well, but we're going to go down nonetheless because when I was in the other cave, as we saw when we was in the first cave that we discovered... Oh, wait, where's this taking us? Oh, okay, this is way different. What? What is all that? I was going to say, when we was in the first cave, we discovered there was uh, spider webs that caught the insects that we can feed off, so we should be able to grub out on them if we need to. Wow, this is cool looking. I don't know how comfortable I am going in that water, though. Even though there's probably nothing... There it is! Oh! Look at the size of it! I genuinely thought it was, like, hundreds of those spiders, like, together, but it's not. It's just one massive centipede. And if I... What did I just hear scurrying around? If I'm not mistaken as well, I think... Way back in the day, when the Earth was a lot hotter and stuff, there were things this big. Alright, here we go. We're gonna tango. Can we go over this way? Oh, it's just going to leave us alone. So we can get a look at him. All right, well, I'm not going to mess around with it if it's, it's going to leave me then. Get your breath back, big guy. Come on. Let's go over this way. It's got to be another... Wait, can I possibly get a drink here? <laughs> oh, this is so dicey doing this. I'm going to say he's asleep. So we're okay for now. Let's just see if we can scoop a little bit of water up into our mouths. There we go. That's nice. Don't know how good this is going to be tasting. If that thing's in there. Look at it, though. Oh, my God. Could you imagine something like this roaming around the Earth today? I say that. There are freakish outliers of, like, every animal and insect and stuff like that. So you, you just never know. The far reaches of our Earth, we might find something really weird like that. But I know, like, back, way back in, like, prehistoric times, the Earth was a lot hotter back then. And, like, there was something to do with, like, the, uh, I wanted to say the carbon in the air and stuff. It could sustain, like, life at a different level, a different size and stuff. Like, that's why the dinosaurs, or a lot of dinosaurs, were so big. I believe so, anyway. There's a lot way smarter people that can translate that better than me, guys, if you're interested. Right, there we go. Don't see any insects in there. But we're nice and full on the water, so let's just get across to this side. Ooh. Why did, oh, oh. did the lighting change then? What is all this stuff? 
Is that like an ooze or something? Because they look like needle thin. Pretty sure it's is it, is it a type of stalag. Wait, stalagmites are on the ground, right? So stalactites are on the ceiling. I don't know what that is. Like the 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 luminescent thing at the top. Oh, I can hear a a, a, a a cat as well above ground. And this is only shallow. So let's keep it going. Yeah, we're a little bit hungry, but that's fine. Oh, it's waist height. Yep. Yeah, no. Nope, not doing it. Not doing it. It's not worth it. It's going to hammer the stamina. And I don't know how deep that's going to go. And we definitely can't swim that well. A lot of you guys were giving me uh, helpful feedback on the uh, actual water as well. Because I was so stressed with it. If we were actually to try and swim. We can a little bit. But it, it eats the stamina. So, like, there's a way that you can kind of control it. So, thanks for letting me know about that, guys. Ooh, there we go. We're good. Right, what are we dealing with? I would love to be able to find some food. I want to go this way too. Oh, that's quite deep. Come on. Oh, look at this doggy paddle. Oh, come on, please. I don't want to run out of stamina when I'm in the middle of the water like this. He's going to drown. Oh, God, get on there. <gasps> get it back. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Go for this side. That chime that you can hear is the uh, the sound of a precious stone. And I think I found a blue one in the other one as well, which I did take back to the settlement. So I think this is just exactly the same. So let's focus on that. And yeah, blue blue R gates or A gates? I don't know how to say that. And it does give you some buffs as well. Maybe I should carry one of them out of the cave. That might help me from uh, from stressing out too much. So pick this up. Is it helping with the dopamine? I think that's what those little eyes mean. Yeah, we're hungry too. I know, big guy. I'm going to try and work on that in a second. We can always find more sticks. Don't mind leaving that there. Yeah, this is the bit that worries me. Even though it looks shallow, it's not. Oh, get over there. Go, 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 go. Come on. Get up. Oh, okay, okay. It just goes down so quick. And again, because I haven't really tested it yet, we haven't really experienced it. I don't know what happens if you do lose complete stamina in the water like this. I mean, I imagine that <laughs> the thing just drowns, but I don't want to do that if we can help it. Switch hands. I think we're getting lucky so far as well. Like these vines that are coming from the top straight down like that. It's really cool looking. It's obviously helping me going to get across too. We go... Over that way. Yeah, we can. This gives us something to push off to get to the other side. Nice. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, I got a couple of people asking, like, where's the echo coming from? <laughs> it's just something I do, guys. If you're new to the channel, I just add it. Let's create that sense of immersion. We're all together in this. That's so far down there. Oh, do we do that? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this. And I'm going to drop this. We're going to have a drink. It's thirsty work, like, traveling in these caves. We're actually really good on thirst. It's the food that we need. Wait, can I not? Let me just scan a couple of these bits. Right, obsidian. Yeah, it's obsidian all over this place. But those mushrooms there, I cannot eat. Right, let's get the stamina back. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm so stressed. No, 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 no. Quick. Oh, that's going down so quick. Over there. Okay. Let's stay here. I think we'll be okay here for a minute. Can we just rest there like that? There we go. Get that stand back. Oh, there we go. And go. Come on. I can see it. The land goes up. Okay, I think we're okay. Nice. All right, well, we made it round. Oh. I can hear scurrying. Oh, there's one. Okay, right, we're doing this. Oh, look at that big thing. Oh, my God. Just go. Oh, it's coming back this way. Switch hands. No, I dropped it. No. Get out of the way. Where's my precious stone gun? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm, I'm poisoned. 
Go! Go, go, go! Oh, we need to find water quick. Okay, at least this is a way out. I'm actually really happy that I didn't see any of the spiders. They're nowhere near as big as that thing. They're actually quite small, but there's a lot of them. No doubt we are going to run into them at some point. Where has this led me out to? Is that water there? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, okay, right. Come on, drink that up. All right, we got any coconuts? Because I really, really need some food. Moving through that. Oh, it's a piggy. Moving through that cave was stressful. We don't need to think about it now. We're out of it. Massive centipedes in there. Just looking for the perfect opportunity to poison us and leave us for dead. All right, let's grab this. Let's put a little bit of space between us and the piggies. How about this rock up there? Yeah, let's go and sit on the rock rather than climbing a tree. Should be good. All right. Let's go ahead and alter this. Should be straightforward, right? I think I can use this rock. I don't think I needed obsidian or anything. Yeah, I think... Yeah, he's doing the trick. Oh, it's delicious. All the juices. <laughs> Still continuing the trend of not giving the kids anything, by the way. <laughs> Everything we've ever eaten, we've never shared it. Like, at all. Oh, mentioning the, uh, the kids as well. You guys were saying about my stamina. The reason why it is like the way it is and the reason it goes down so much is because of the kids holding on. Once you go out alone, you don't have that issue, but obviously you kind of sacrifice the uh, the XP because of that. So yeah, that's the trade-off, which is good to know. So if I need to like go over huge distances, probably better going alone. Unless there's a lot to, to discover in which you want to take the kids with you so they get that knowledge. All right, this is good. This is doing the trick. You actually get quite a lot from the coconuts too. You can eat for a good amount of time. And I think what we're going to do next is we're going to take a trip down to the hippos because I didn't do it and I really, really want to. Now that might mean that Watt is in massive trouble, but it's a price I'm willing to pay to find out what's going on with the hippos. Oh, there's the hippos. Oh, okay. We're going this way. Come on. This side. Oh, there's a little bit of everything here. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, I should drag the uh, the pigs over to the hippo. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Climb, climb, climb. I wouldn't mind doing that if there was a cat in the area. Like an actual predator that shouldn't be messed with. Because then we can get rid of that out, out of our way, but... Pigs? Come on. Whoa! Oh my god, there are crocs here! I should have known. I should have known. Wait, I can see one there as well. Look at him. Hippos do. They share the water with crocodiles, don't they? Obviously. I'm mean, like, it's everywhere when you see that. All right. Do we do this? Oh, do we do this? I kind of want to do this. Let's go. Oh, wait. Did we just keep his mouth open? Oh, yeah, he dipped. He's gone. And there's still a hippo over there. Oh, look at the size of that. Oh. oh, they're such a cool creature, though. They look so harmless, but they're just a killing machine. Oh, my God. I kind of want to see what happens if I get into a tangle with them, but I kind of know what's going to happen. Okay, no, right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, that was my warning, I get it, look at them, they're all defending as a unit, they're like Spartans, the prehistoric, the prehistoric world, is that the one that I just tangled with? Alright, let's go over this way, I think I just, yeah, I got into a fight with one here, right, here we go, here we go, Oh, it is. It's the same one. It is. Oh, find some more sticks. Right, go back over this way. Find some more sticks. Right, the hippos have stayed nice and calm. Oh, look at it yawning over there. They're nice and calm over there. They're not bothered by me at the minute. I'm not close enough. There is a croc coming into shore here, which might be the one that I've been fighting. Because I don't see in, like, this immediate area where one's lying around. There's no movement. 
So, do you have a stick in the side of you? Oh, look at him. He's in ambush mode. God, that's so cool. Yep, yeah, here we go. It is the one. I see the stick in the side of it. All right, come on, back. Back, let's keep an eye on it. Make sure we know which one it is. This is so ridiculously brave from us. We shouldn't be doing this. Whoa, is that... Oh, that's a crocodile nest, I think. Yeah, it's that one over there, like, off in the distance. Oh, yeah, he's had enough. Like, whatever that thing is, it is not worth me trying to eat. Come on, work out what it is. There we go. Gathering spot. A hole to poke. Wait, can I poke the hole? Oh! Oh, we got snail! Okay, good. We found a new area to find food from. And it's a good food as well. Switch. And grab it. And then eat. We like some good snail. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Right, where is our croc? Oh, is he there? Yeah, he's there. Oh, he's kind of close to the hippos. <laughs> right, let's switch. No, no, we want to have it in the right hand. Where is it? I can't quite see where it is. Come on, sure. Oh, he's just let out like a big, big noise. Oh, wait. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Oh, no! The stick broke! Get out of there! Oh. You know what? I kind of deserve that because... Oh, my God! Oh, he's chasing me down! I deserve that. Yep, I fully, fully, fully deserve that. I got way too cocky. I'm messing with a literal prehistoric killing machine that's never had to evolve. What did I think would happen? Oh, wait. Is he trying to... Is he trying to find a way around? Alright, can we get some sticks, please? Yeah, there's some over there. Alright, I'm not giving up. Let's do this. Ugh, nice! Got one! Look at the size of him as well. Oh, we're clamping his mouth shut! That's so sick! And it's down. Crocodile has been conquered. Look at the size of that beast. <laughs> right, can we can we take one of these? Because I know a few of you guys said that I can like eat these, even if it makes me sick. Again, it's worth doing. So let's just get that up in as there we go, becoming omnivorous. So that's what I want to do. Just get rid of that. And we just want to keep like drinking the water so. It gets better over time, and then eventually we get used to it. I think that's how it works. And if I wanted to, like, take the meat from this croc, i just find one of those basalt rocks, make a chopper by smashing them together, and then I could take the meat too. And I think the same thing would happen with, like, the poisoning thing, but, yeah, I guess over time that's how it, that's how it takes effect. All right, I know I might have outstayed my welcome in this area because there's a lot of crocodiles, but I want to tangle with a hippo. I'll never know if I don't do it now because I think we are going to evolve after this. So I really, really want to know. All right, big guy. Oh, this is it. Ow. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. What just? Oh. Did I just take a leg out? Oh, that's another one that we've tangled with. You can see the two sticks in him. So I must have, like, started a fight with a different croc over there. Are you coming over this way? Yeah, he's not happy with us. You're the one that wants to pick a fight. Come on, then. Come over this way. I'm not going near the water because that's your playground. Come over here. Back up. 
Here we go. Oh, yeah. Back up. Still got the hippo over here, too. Just taking down crocodiles and hippos for days. <laughs> no big deal. So it looks like we're trying to focus on the hippo's leg. But then the uh, the sticks are kind of in its back. So I don't know. I hit the leg again. Oh! Oh, I thought that was us. We made it mad, so we took out the rock python. There's one less. That's so cool. It's one less threat that we need to worry about, though. So that's good. Right, I think this might be it. Wait, do we get it? No. Oh, just thinking about it, this might take a lot more than like the four, five stick rule that I've been sticking to with the uh, with the cat and the crocodile. So, I mean, think about it. That thing is massive. <laughs> and it's literally got like armor plating on it. So I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, do the sticks just keep breaking now? What? I'm not having any luck with this. Switch. And he kind of charges off in that direction. They just keep breaking. I think they keep breaking anyway. It looks that way. Hold up, big guy. Oh, he stood on the graves of the other ones. Let's go. Come on. Wait. Oh, I keep thinking there's going to be like a follow-up animation. There just never is. I'm going to beat this pig with a rock. <laughs> it's so fun doing that. The sticks obviously get rid of the problem, but the rocks, oh, they're so much fun to use. <laughs> you can even do it with the precious stones too. All right, so where are we then? We're this side of the, uh, the island there. So our home should be there. So what we're going to do is make our way back. We've actually got a lot of brain juice as well, so we can see what's left. I have been slowly pumping everything that we already found, or basically uncovered, from the previous episode. So we get back to where we were before we skip the generation. But I think, guys, there's nothing much going on in terms of skipping the generations. I think that's just a, I guess, a tool that you can use if you have a big clan, and then you can effectively have more kids and lock in more spontaneous mutations. I think that's the idea behind it. Now that I've seen that, I think I kind of just want to evolve, though, because I've got a lot of different genetic spontaneous mutations. I think we should be good, and I really want to see what happens when we evolve anyway. And even if it's wrong, at least we'll learn from it, because I think you can evolve more than once, right? It's not just going to take me to the end evolution. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. Oh, nearly almost <laughs> fell into a rock python. I wonder what would happen if you actually landed on one. I don't want to test it. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's just keep it moving. Oh, the thin branches. They're the ones that completely freak me out. feel like I'm going to miss them all the time. Over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Okay. Go, go, go. I swear I was grabbing the branch then. Oh, red plants, where are you when I need you, please? Wait, I think there was some round here. I know I've been in this area a few times. Maybe on that rock? No, there's a rock python back there, though. Who are you? Yeah, you're just the grass. All right. I think we just got to tough it out for a little bit until we find some more of those red plants. <laughs> guys, my track record with doing that while I'm with you guys is terrible. I know that. I promise. When I'm fully focused and I'm just exploring the uh, the jungle on my own, it never happens. <laughs> I know you're not going to believe me now either, but I promise it doesn't. I'm like Tarzan swinging through the vines when I'm just all relaxed. It's because I'm like trying to think about talking to you guys on what I'm doing and stuff. My brain is just trying to process 10 different things at <laughs> Oh, God. Wait, get up there, please. Oh, right, let's just get our breath back. I know. Oh, look at him. He's holding his knees. I can hear my family up there. Right, let's get to him. There's going to be a lot of new faces, obviously, some of which you probably would have seen 
in the last episode, but <laughs> I've been busy since then, guys, okay? I've been really busy. There's a lot more babies <laughs> around the area, so let's see who we've got here. Let me just, just drop this over here. Oh, also, these are the fences that I was talking about. So all you do is you just stack the, uh, the branch. You just stack the branches up on top of each other, and eventually you can make these things. I don't know how good this is going to be, like how it will help, but... Like, you can't sneak through that without actually going over the top of it, so I think we should be okay. Also, before we go through everyone, I want to show you guys what it looks like. So here's another one that's deceased. So these are the bones, and what you can do is analyze it, and it shows you who it is and how long they've been dead for. Look at that. 17 years. La was one of the, uh, the first generation, the first group we had. It's so cool that you can do that. I don't know. Maybe it's going to pass a lot of people by that, but I really, really like it. So we go over here. These are the grinders, some more meteorites. There's the first one that I brought back that we found in the second cave that we did today. And this here, this is the chopper. So you smash two basalt rocks together and that gives you that, which you can obviously take the meat off a carcass with. So who have we got here then? Hick, adult male. That's who we've been before. Elder, ooh, we all remember ooh. Babies is Ko and what? So you guys have said as well I can rename them. I don't want to though. I like what we've been getting. And this might be... Oh, yeah, this is M. And here's another one. That's that's App. That's who I was talking about before. Right, they're all collected here. What are you guys doing? You're just hanging out? Codge, who is my parent, I believe. Yeah, I'm what? So that's, that's my parent there. And wait, can we... There's Kek, who is a mother to Ko and Nay, I want to say. And there you go. You can see the spontaneous genetic mutations. This one has metabolism. So that's Nah. You all remember Nah from the generation one we was going around exploring. This one has communication. So you can see how that works now. We should have some more over this side. Oh, there's another one there. Who's this? Ban. 17 years. And you are Seg, who has settlement spontaneous mutation. Wo and Beck. And this might be, yeah, this is Lutz think that... Oh, no. There's one more here. Q. There's Q. Okay. So, there was one issue, by the way. Let me just check something real quick. There was a problem that I had. All the babies should be with adults. Oh, there it is. Don't know if you guys caught that then. But there's a baby in there. And I have tried... And it's got a genetic mutation as well. Motricity. I don't know how to get the baby out of there. I have tried to do the, uh, the the clan thing where I bring them all away from this area, and it didn't work. So if anyone has any ideas, in case this happens again, because I think we're not going to need to worry about it now, because what I need to do is pass another generation. I don't know why it's duplicating that, but either way, it's fine, right? I think what I'm going to do then is take on some water and some food, and I'll be back with you guys once we're refreshed. And I think we're going to skip a generation because I want to do this... And then we're going to evolve. So we'll see where that takes us. These little sequences are so cool. I really do like them. Another 15 years have passed. Look how old we are. We're an elder again. <laughs> this is so wild. All right. Let's go around the names. So we've got Lek, who is a male, who is from Du and Na. Okay. So one male, another male, Guo. And Nay, who is a female. And we've got another male. Okay, this is good, right? Having the males around is what we want. All the different males. And why is that not... There we go. Poe. Oh, wait, what was the name? Oh, Matrocity as well. What was the name of the one that was stuck? It was Beck, wasn't it? So Beck should be a lot older now, like an adult, but not an elder. Seg, Settlement. Okay. Okay. Nah, remember when these two were like babies when we were just w like wandering through the jungle? It literally was like two episodes ago and now they're old. So heartbreaking. Who we got here? No, no, I don't want to change the name. Who's this? 
pick. Yeah, that's the that's the male. And female. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you do had communication. Okay, I didn't see that one. Who's that there? Oh, it's Q. Oh no, that's who it was in the uh, in the animation. I think Q has left us. Beck, there we go. So Beck, you did you you got out from the rocks. Okay, that's really good to know. Okay, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> and we've expanded our clan by quite a lot. Look at the lower right corner there. You can just see how many babies we've got now, which is a really good thing because we're locking in all those genetic mutations. Oh, look at them set together like that. But yeah, the babies are everywhere and we should be good. So I'm going to try this now. This is probably going to be the wrong way to do it, but we're learning. So what I want to do is go here. And because we've skipped a generation now, we shouldn't have... A lot unlocked. Yeah, there we go. Apart from the ones that we did lock in. So if we go across the generation, there we go. We've got six more now that we can do. But we've got to unlock these first. Technically, what I should be doing is waiting to get more brain juice in this and unlock these again and then lock more of those six in. But because I really want to see what's going on with it, let's just go ahead and do the evolutionary leap. I just want to see what happens next because i believe we've conquered a lot of the jungle now we've seen a lot of the animals i want to see the next step for us and then based on how that goes i'll know in the future what i need to keep what i need to update and stuff basically i'm just i really want to see what happens so here we go oh boy okay that was twenty four thousand seven hundred twenty three years ahead whoa okay we're still going Assimilated nutrients. So this is everything that we've got then. Are we learning this through the evolution scale? Nutrients from... I don't know what that word was. Intimidated an eastern green mamba. 24,500. Wow. Okay, we're really skipping ahead. I don't know if I can stop this either. I mean, this is going to be a good thing though, right? We're, we're gaining a lot of good stuff. There we go. Like plus 12,500 years because of the things that we've unlocked and we've learned. Found an emerald as a precious stone. Another 5,000 years. Oh, this is crazy how far ahead we're going. Another 24,500 years. Discovered the big swamp. So everything you do has an effect before you evolve. Okay, I didn't know that. More nutrients discovered. Another 24,000. Look at that time scale. More nutrients. So everything we're seeing on the left and right here is the stuff that we've unlocked. How, how long is this going to go for? Because we, we unlocked a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of it. Another 34 plus 10. Are we going to get down to that 9 million years? Are we going to jump ahead? Technically, like a million years ahead. More fibers discovered or applications applied. Another 10,000. Guys, this is like... <laughs> this is going way, way forward. Way more than I thought we were going to get here. I thought we'd maybe get like maybe between 50 and 200,000. We're right on the doorstep of a million years ahead. Oh, it's kind of painful though because now that I know that, I'm like, oh, I should have waited. I should have just waited a little bit longer. I'm fine with it, though, because I'm, I'm so happy that I know this now going ahead so I can do all those preparations so when I want to evolve again, I'm really excited to see what we look like with these evolutions. Another tech We're there. We're pretty much there. As close as makes no difference is to 9 million. So what's that? A million years ahead, I think. Feats added. 27. Fulfillment succeeded zero. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think that was might have been the, the most recent generation. Feet years of science. 773,464 years. And then plus 120,000 years in time bonus. So what's the fulfillment then? Is that like everything? Unlocking everything on the neuronal path? So the differential of 120,000 evolving faster than science. So we've evolved 120,000 years faster than science's prediction or calculations. Evolution leap so far is 893,464 years ahead. What does that look like? Two deaths. I thought we had more than that. 50,000. Oh, wait, we're still going? 
17 births. 85,000 years added. Birth 17, death 2. The death should be way higher, though. I don't understand what that is. If that's my character, that's weird because I haven't killed anyone. Not, not that I know of. Evolving faster than science. Evolutionary leap. Look at that. There's the next. After the 17 births, that's boosted us to 928,464 years. What? Evolution leap. 928,464 years through the passage of time you have progressed to become what is known as the <laughs> Sahal Sah Sahalanthropus Chidensis you have moved through time to 9 million years before now and will be brought back to the world to catch up with your lineage Whoa, this isn't home. Oh, we're in a different spot. Okay, we didn't look, we didn't look too like drastically different here. Oh, whoa, the vocalizations seem a bit different. Are we? Okay, no, the call is still the same. Can we... Wait, wait, let me drop that. Drop the rock. Whoa, whoa, the baby looks a bit... Di oh, no, maybe it doesn't. Hold on. Intelligence. Stand up. Can we still walk for a little bit of length of time? Oh, yeah. We're definitely carrying on that Caesar's lineage. Okay, where are we, though? What is this? This is definitely not... Current settlement. Okay, uh, maybe we're in a different part of the jungle where we were. Maybe things have... Ch I have no idea. Wait. Down there, we've got... I think where the hippos were. Right. I'm making a bed real quick because I want to see what the uh, the evolution or the neuronal tree looks like. So, let's lie down. And evolution. Okay, yeah. So, they are still all unlocked. New learned ability speed. Ooh. Movement speed has increased. And I guess that's just through the evolution orientation it is possible to remember the position of one or more specific location oh that's really useful okay nutrient abs absorption more energy is gained from food that's really good oh look at the genetic locks now they, they, they're kind of way fine it's possible to remember the position of more okay that's good again we're unlocking everything sleep healing efficiency perfect Okay, so it's not all bad news then. All threats induce less fear. Perfect. So we're not as scared anymore. So we've still got like this one here, which is the potential one. But this one, all threat. This is like a, a locked in mutation now. So this is going nowhere. And that's what we were just being shown then. The wayfinding. What was that one? Speed. Oh, that's a really good one to have. And what were you? Sleep healing efficiency. Okay, no. So this is the same area then. It just looks really different from where we've started now. I actually don't mind being here as well. <laughs> There's the hippos and the pigs. Wait, let's see if we can actually spot them then. If we go to intelligence and then smell. I Do I still have the... No, I didn't lock that one in. I might lock that one in next time. So I can uh, identify more than one of them at a time. What about hearing? Okay, yeah, we got the mushrooms and stuff like that. All right, I'm just having a little look around and see if there's any massive change in that. I'm not noticing it right now, so I guess we've just got to keep going further ahead. If that is the case, or I just need to do a little bit of grinding to get us to basically complete the neuronal pathways, then that's absolutely fine. Oh, we got some mangoes over there. Never say no to those. But yeah, the one thing that I'm struggling with right now is the fulfillment thing. I'm not entirely sure like what we've got to do to, to get that, to accomplish that. So if anybody knows, if anybody's played this or seen it before, I would love to know how to, to go about doing that because I think that's one thing we missed out on. Aside from that, a million years of evolution with what we've got locked into place right now with the mutations, I'm happy with considering we kind of sped through that then. At least we know now, right? We are in a new area, so more new challenges. But we're absolutely going to try and pick up the pace to keep the evolutions going. I really want to do that. I would love to see a group of these guys walking around on two legs, hunting down things around the jungle or even beyond as well. But for now, guys, I think this is where we're going to end. So 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.